So your right leg, you've got to drag that, haven't you? I have to pull it round. Okay, so you can't bend the knee yet? No. No, alright. Um, okay, so Sherry, just tell us your full name and ha when you were diagnosed with your MS. I'm Sherry Carson. I live in Calgary, Alberta. I'm 44 years old. I was diagnosed um, about six months after my first son was born, and he was born in 1995. And I was diagnosed by um, Dr. Robert Bell. Dr. Robert Bell, he's a neurologist. He's the head of the neurology uh, department in Calgary. In the Calgary Hospital? Yes. Okay. Now, what, um, what was the first symptom that you noticed to, to figure out there was something wrong? After my first son was born, I had an epidural. And the, after the epidural wore off, my body went normal. And then one day later, the freezing started again in my big toes. Right. So a day later, after the epidural, you were just laying in the hospital bed? It had all gone? It had all gone. Right. And then suddenly you, your big toe, your toes started yeah, on, going cold again? On the right hand side, the, this toe went first, then the other toe. And they told me that was just a normal response to the epidural, that it uh, had residual effect. Right but it continued to go up my whole body. They sent me home from the hospital. It continued on until it was, I felt topically frozen, like as if you were getting your, the dental work done when the freezing's not quite out. Okay. And it was from the breast down, I was topically frozen. Right. Do you still feel any of that cold feeling? My feet are freezing all the time. All the from time. the knees down. And I still feel topically frozen from the breast down. Right. trouble to, to walk, to stand, and even to maneuver my body in bed. Right. Can you pull yourself up and stand up without holding in onto anything? No, I have to hold on to something. Right. Can you lift your right foot off the floor at all? No. Can you lift your left foot off the floor at all? Barely. Barely. And the left foot, whilst it doesn't feel stuck to the floor, you, ha you have to drag it anyhow, don't you? It doesn't want to lift. Right, okay. Sideways balance comes from the muscles on the side of your thigh where you've been doing your injections. So wouldn't it go to stand that if you keep poking needles in there? It would affect your balance. With your balance. That's yeah. exactly right. that last visit and that last bit of advice was ridiculous. You're on a downhill spiral, go home and smoke a little weed yeah. and you'll be able to put up with your slow demise. This, this area here, that's the area where you were injecting Copaxone. For six years. For six years. And all it's done is made your muscle collapse. Yeah. Hasn't given you any gains or any improvement in your... Well, I was walking when I started and I'm in a wheelchair now. All right, so we have another area on this leg. The muscles started to collapse on here. and yeah. So both legs, they've, you've, they've told you that injecting yourself with Copaxone is going to help you. And it's not only not helped you, but you're now in a wheelchair. Well, and then I also I had to be tense in the anticipation of a needle every day. Yeah.
but I'm just going to work it a bit harder down here to get some more blood. That's better. So now we're, we're getting the blood down here, from there from your rib cage down to your hips. It's starting to come down this area here now. Every month the government will give me $1,100. Right. To buy Copaxin. Right. It's paid for. Right. I said, but why, if you give me the money for that, won't you give me the money? Why don't they, the government give me the money to get massage done? Because that's what gives me re relief. Right. And he said, there's no money for a massage. And does the Copaxin help you at all? Well, six years I injected and I've ended up in a wheelchair. feel it in my calf muscle down this. Can you? Yeah. Great way to hand this. Now they told me, and they being the doctors, that's where D what myelination is and I will never feel better in that place yeah. ever. In what place? Right where you are. Yeah. Would you tell me how hard I can press without it hurting? I can't I don't have much feeling. You don't have any feeling there? No. Painful. Just tensing everything. Oh. Oh. You bent your knee. I know. Ah. You bent your knee. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Both of them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Daddy. Oh. Oh my gosh. Daddy. She's in bed probably. Tell me if you can lift the knee or not. Remember that march. Let go your tension and just do it. That's it. Now you're right. Now you're right. <laughs> now how long has it been since you've been able to walk like that? It's been a year. It's been a year. Yeah. And, it, and it's, it's not even the walk. It's being able to actually bend my legs a little bit. Yeah. And stop there. Put your feet in an equal position. 
<laughs> you just want to go, don't you? Mm. All right, let's do it then. If you feel that enthusiastic, let's do it. Remember, concentrate on your knees. That's it. That's it. That's great. If you want to stop for a rest, you tell me. Yeah, right. Please. One hand walking, but don't forget, you stop when you want to stop. Can we get on the camera and take it back on again? That's really good. Look at that. Goodness me. Look. Right. Just take your time, lift and concentrate on your knees. Lift them higher than you think you need to lift them. That's better. See, he gave me a door frame to hang on to here. <laughs> Walk free and relaxed. Walk like you used to walk, free and relaxed. Let it all go. The stress of your life is over. Enjoy your walk. That's brilliant. This is really good. Goodness me. <laughs> Well, Sherry, you're a real winner, girl. Look at this. Hey? Concentrate on the knee. Okay, stand there and relax. That's it. That's the way. <coughs> I'm not taking the scooter down, down the shops. We're just taking the walker because Sherry's improved so much that she's ready for the next level. Daddy, will you just stand near the step there? Three years since you walked it through the door. Wow.
So, okay, it took us a while to get here. How do you feel? Proud. Proud? Thank you for believing in me, because <laughs> everybody hasn't believed in me. Mm. And they thought I was crazy to have you here. I'm not crazy. Oh. I'm not crazy. Yeah. This is so good. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> yeah, how will I let you guys go back? I